versus Dark Lizard versus Jimin Juice versus Cola Pro versus Lucas B versus MTB in Crash Bash. Always good to damage abuse in the level. Skyballs is the one level where um, pause buffering is not all that useful. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. It can oh, be useful, but. can be. Just nothing less than the other side. It's just the tilt ah. that makes it a bit difficult. Yeah. It's just annoying. So it's like. You know, nothing helps really. Yeah. Yes, got the crystal. Nice. Uh, nice. nice work, actually. Is that not how it's done? Three tries or so. I think it took me two tries there, something like that. Hmm. Fair to play to anybody. Right, now I can go that. to Big Bad Fox. I want 40 points. Oh, no way. That's actually. Well, I don't know what's going to happen here. This is not going well. Uh... Yep. Welcome to Crash Bash. <laughs> oh, I did. Okay, welcome that round. But I've got two more to go. Welcome to six. <laughs> oh, nice. We're actually. Okay, no, right. Crash four. Defeated the Komodo brothers. Crash four. I didn't realize you were playing that game. <laughs> but, but, but. I was actually cheating. That's what's happening. Yeah. Right. Oh, At least I found really out any percent cool. of Crash 4 is actually quicker. Yeah. Mar Marcus, um, what well, I've seen you playing a lot of Crash 4 recently, actually. Yeah. On the PS5. Yeah. Okay, I only need four gems. So yeah, I because we're all on the PS5 three. playing Rumble, and we all like lose our marbles with it. So we all just so swap you play, over and play Crash 4 or something. So then you play a game that's supposed to make you lose your marbles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's not as bad. <laughs> Can you please not force me to? Thank you. Plays better on the PC, actually, Crash 4. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's that 60 frames per second. It also has an uncapped frame rate as well. Well, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I play it at 120. Oh, shoot. I'm wasting that. And it actually helps with that game, you know, because it's so competitive style. Yeah. Ooh. I would like to see a race between you and Abdul in that game, actually. I think that would be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> What's Crash 4? Yeah. yeah is Crash 4 actually a mandatory game in that tournament? It is, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah get, get to like a semi final. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure to be a mandatory game, it has to be a Crash Bandicoot game, right? It has to be a mainline Crash Bandicoot game, yeah. I think. Okay. Really oh, Crash 4 is actually classes mainline, nice. Oh no. At least mandatory games make sense there though, because it's like, oh okay, cool. We can point to games that are like, okay, these are definitive sort of quintessential I mean, uh, Crash games. It's, it's difficult to do that in a 99 uh, style yeah. term. Because uh, yeah. it's sort the of like, is... you know, well all these games are from 1999. Well, I think um, Spal 2, 2 made sense, but like, the other one's like, uh, you know, it's more based on preference, really. Yeah. I mean, I think CTR hmm. should have, like, been, like, given it on that metric, like. Oh, my God. I agree. Kong, you. Yep. Yeah, uh, he's. Problem is with Pogo Padlock, you can't back out. If you back out, you're going to lose all your squares. Mm. Yeah, you are. I'm on but I suppose it's better than the Metin Stolen. Oh, you're on so you Oxide. Oh nice. oh, nice. Damn. Nice. That was quick. Yes, I guess. No! Oh, I was so close. Who's on Oxide? Uh, Call Opera. <laughs> well, that's good, because you've got to rush <laughs> off soon, isn't it? That's why, yeah, he's right. He wants to win it, just so he can, like, <laughs> rush off. Yeah, yeah he's like, can I hurry up and win so I can go there and do go. my shit? Like... <laughs> Komodo brothers are beaten. Good, good motivation, that. 
Uh, Antonio Curtis is gonna beat me up if I don't. He he's actually motivating you to go. I think I might lose a trophy, guys. Yeah. No way. What and what? Pogo padlock. Uh, oh, I shit. have to get. Oh, that's a time loss. That's a time loss indeed. I have yep. to get five crystals in this. Because as you know, the pro the problem with those, them is like it's got a timer, so you're stuck to the yeah. Thing. You've got to do yeah. the minute and a half. I've only got one trophy so far in Sky Bowls, but I'm close to getting a second. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got one win. <laughs> I got one win, sorry, yeah. It's because, like, the reason why I say trophy is because of the silver trophies. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Yeah, that's fair. X, Y, Z. I'm on Sky Bowls at the moment. Oh my god. It's and good luck go with away, luck. Cortex. How did you yeah, do Sky... with Sky Balls, Marcus? Uh, not too bad, actually, for Sky Balls. His balls was... dropped. <laughs> yeah. From the sky. <laughs> I think I might have missed one. Yeah, yeah, just like how um, he dropped um, his fucking console on his cat one time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, have you not seen that video? Where, like, he it's, almost it's killed... It's a video? I mean, he always kills his cat, yeah. You're going to have to send it to me so I can overlay it. <laughs> oh yeah, steering wheel for the PS2, yeah. I didn't want it, so I just threw it out the window. MTB, and it just... the responsible pet owner. As always. Honest. What was it you threw out? Yeah, steering wheel for your console, and you're like, I hate this Remus. thing that you throw out the window. <laughs> don't send and it to You didn't even lover. notice your cat was there. And the cat no, I didn't. Had, the cat had, like, feline reflexes, of course, and, like, dodged it like a fucking boss. <sighs> that was close again, but... It I... must have known that it was falling. Well, but the fact did. of the matter is, the cat was deaf knew, as well. It, it knew, oh, for fuck's sake, Marcus is at it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marcus since the tingling. <laughs> so the cat didn't even see it, but it knew that it was going to fall and hit it. Yeah, it knew Marcus That's was incredible. in the position. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, you're probably doing something stupid. It's like that bit in The Simpsons, um, watch out, everybody, he's about to do something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's that joke in the second Spongebob Squarepants movie where Spongebob meets Plankton from 30 minutes in the future and he's like so if you're from the future what am I about to say and Plankton's like something stupid and Spongebob just goes wow <laughs> what was yeah. that episode why is Spongebob it was the second in... movie why is Spongebob ah. and Simpsons like home to the Biggest memes. I, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Are you off? Have you won? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, no, GG. Uh, GG's. GG's, guys. GG's. GG for the. You um, might not guys. even be in the last episode of this series. You finished. Yeah, GG. Right congratulations. Ahead. Thank you. That's the ladies, actually. Yeah. <laughs> finished a whole episode early. It might be. Let's hey. see. The opportunity to to eat. My dinner is why I'm doing so well at Sky Balls, I swear. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'll catch you later. Um, yep, have a good one, yeah. Cole. Bye. I've actually got oh, a muddy bye. race yes. late Take tonight, care. so... Well, I was kind of unexpected, just sort of, you know... Yeah, I feel like I've got enough to go to Oxide. I wouldn't be surprised if you did, to be fair. <laughs> I just got the uh, crystal and um, no, the trophy in Sky Balls. Um, crystal. Sky Balls is. Oh, come on, someone die. What game are you on now, Roger? Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. Sky Balls. <laughs> uh, I think we're all on Sky Balls then. <laughs> uh, I'm not anymore. Well, everyone. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, apart from me, was in Pogo Padlock. I'm not doing the crystal or gem on Sky Balls. Yeah, you shouldn't. Neither am I. <laughs> yeah, fuck you and your Pogo Padlock, Marcus. <sighs> Maybe, you know what's the best thing? Probably Jungle Fox in World War 4. To do gem or crystal. I'm really struggling with this uh, trophy. Um, how many wins did you get? Did you get? Zero. <laughs> oh shit. That's how bad it's going. Oh wow. That's that's very unfortunate. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah. Keep getting. Oh. I don't know. I'm just. Walla really Kong, you balls. suck. Oh, he just killed himself. Nice. Can I just die? Very based in red pill. I'll have to say. Ah, come on. Oops. Uh -oh. how, how we got padlock gem? It's okay. It's decent. Hello, cleans up the competition. That one. Oh my goodness, I'm not. Yeah, literally. I think. One of the Polo padlock gem is the time is actually the work bigger issue padlock. than the players. What? Yep, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, that's been bugging me for a while, Mark, because I had to say it. No problem. Are you going? What are you going for in Pogo pad padlock, Marcus? The gem. Why? Okay. Because all the rest of them are horrible, even worse. I mean, um, the fourth was it we said earlier, four Lucas, gems. pick your poison, like. I yeah. know, yeah. But as Pogo padlock. <sighs> it is. It is. At least it's not the crystal, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. As long as he's not going for the crystal. Yeah, I mean, if he yeah, is, that, that, uh, that, dude. Would be, that would be a big rip. Big rip. That's yeah. a very pain. Okay. I managed to get an lighten. Oh, nice. Right. Do not yes! shoot me, okay. monkey man. Oh, God, I'm not trophy. talking about Dr. Monkey Man. <sighs> <laughs> Save stated it as well, so I don't have to do it ever again. Yep. Oh. Never again in your entire life for you touching that. Can I, can I just say, like, Scottish oh. state pies are really good? They really are. So <laughs> if um if when Roger comes here that'll probably be something you should try. <laughs> I'm um about to have the week from hell next week. I'm doing three overnight shifts, one all day shift and one eight to five. But then there's the weekend, so is that, is that for? <laughs> my work. Why are, you, why are you doing so much overtime? Uh because I didn't get any shifts this week and where I'm oh. bank now I can only like really Got take yeah. shifts as and when they come. Um, so yeah, it's annoying, but it does, you know, earn me the money I need for the month ahead. Um, M Marcus, like, um, how's the job hunt been going for you? Uh, not really got much further with it, to be honest. Nobody's just wanting to take me. Mm. <laughs> Frustrating. Well, uh, I know the film. <sighs> I never thought anything, uh, we do would be good like surpassing the second episode of Triangle to Talk, but here we are. Hey. <laughs> nice. Because that went on for like 90 minutes and we were like, oh, we should probably wrap up now. Yeah, no, it was good. Here we are yeah. three hours later. I you actually know, watched you it all. I watched it all, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I've noticed? Kiwi, uh, even though I was very, <laughs> Kiwi is a very natural speaker. <laughs> Honestly, I think, to be honest, either me or Kiwi should just be on every episode. <laughs> I think this is why I get on with him so well, we can just talk for England. That would work. New Zealand, but... But you, you, you can tell he's from England uh, originally because of the accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and some of the banter as well, and some of our jokes and humour. Mm -hmm. Some of the danter. I mean... I think I really blew his fucking mind with that lamppost trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. What do I need? Is it something you're not meant to do? No, definitely not. Okay. Oh, um, there is Juninji's just there. Oh, like, oh, I thought it was intended strat. Well, I can't do it anymore. Truthfully, yeah, I thought don't... it was like Kiwi just didn't know how to do it. I just truthfully, how to um, do it the way. Truthfully, Joseph, like, um, I actually think it's one of those ones where if you look at it, it looks like it should be intended. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs onto it. Shoot the bloody thing, Tom. Yeah. Come on now. No. No, no, no. No, it's not like a... It's not like a glitch, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's an exploit. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. It's, it's more like the ones you would see in Spar 1, for example. I just, I can't have a clean streak anymore. <laughs> I'm on there, man. You can't get them in this time. game. Okay, lad, I'm done. With oh, the okay, uh, GG. Collisions have oh, nice. handed our asses to us. Yes, 
By you know, I mean, they were the, they were the champions of the um, Crash Bash tournament, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I it mean, just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But still, uh, still it was... <laughs> it's nothing to be ashamed of. Close, you know. Oh, no. Oh, no. By the way, oh, I'm going to go to the last place, you know? And you're going to go off now, Lizard? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But yeah, no worries, it's, it was fun. Thank mm -hmm. you for this opportunity. And, yep. Great having you, yeah. Yeah, take care. Alright, take yeah. care. Take yeah. it easy. Take care. Bye. And then there were four. Hey, four so who will come straight. third. Meanwhile, I'm in the padlock now. Who takes the top three? Uh, you remember in Rayman three? M, uh, where uh, when if you Stop came, even if you charging came at me on the podium that you're just on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, There's a lot that... of weird things about Rayman M, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like... going to say that I'm not even going to be in the podium. <laughs> I'm not even going to be on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There used to be this weird like um, music in um, Rayman M when you when you died. It was like, no, 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 no. And yeah, I remember Jason yeah. and I came up with a, with a theme for it. It was like, oh, wah, 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 wah. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> you know, when we were really young. <laughs> uh, That's great. It, Casey was the one that owned Rayman M. I never actually owned it, weirdly enough, even though I was a Rayman fan. Oh, I've had it now. Of the two. I... You know, I realised I'm actually a fan of oh, the franchises. Two and one. Like, what? Yeah, two, yeah, I've never... two, they died at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I've never oh. played Pokemon. <laughs> a one on one Ooh, point. Okay. Oh right. no, oh, time up. I got there in six Rodney? rounds, not three. Uh, what? Of Manic Panic, yeah. Are you still in Pogo Padlock, oh. Marcus? No, I mean, I'm in Drain Bash, but I ran out of time and I won. Is that oh. right? Yeah. If you yeah, have, if you the have most more health. health. Yeah. Oh, I thought it just timed out. Oh, oh sometimes it does, yeah. If it's but that uh, only works just in the jet, trophy. Just, yeah. uh, it only right, works yeah. in the trophy, yeah. That's a, yeah. Yeah, they don't want to make it too easy, do they? Oh, no. no. I want to make it too easy. You don't want to make it think we're going soft, <laughs> says Euricom. It's not long till, you, till you're actually up here, actually, Roger, there. Yeah. Oh, nice. In Edinburgh. In Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, it's less than a month. Well, still a bit but more than a month away, but, you know. Yeah, it won't be but... too much longer. Hey. Oh, but you won't be meeting me uh, in my twenties. <laughs> You'll be meeting me in my thirties. <laughs> oh wow! Yep. You're gonna be old. Damn. Yeah, I'm older. He's gonna be three years old. I'm meeting mean? Casey in his thirties as well, right? Mm. Yeah, he's in his thirties. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're always like a like it's it's strange, like because he's a we were the same age for like three months. <laughs> And then, like inevitably, he 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 um Ooh, got the his gem. Birthday arrives. Yeah, very true. Hello, YouTube watchers. It's your boy Bobbledink from the future. So at this point, the commentary kind of fizzled down a bit because um, uh, Cola Pro and Dark Lizard had left at this point, and most of the commentary basically became, "I'm here. I've got this. I'm doing this challenge." So we thought to keep it a bit interesting, yes. we'd do a bit of post-match analysis. And with me today, we have our first and second place champions, Cola Pro and Dark Lizard. Very welcome, guys. <laughs> Hello, thank you very much. Um, well, and thank you for inviting me here for the post-commentary. <laughs> No worries, not at all. You guys have done very well to claim the first two podium spots. Um, how did that feel following what was at this point like three hours, I believe? Thanks for inviting me, by the way. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. I I I, I thought that uh, it's gonna be really close, which it was like, uh, when I entered the oxide. I mean, when I finished oxide, the lizard entered basically uh but i thought like he probably you know he has bigger potential than me in crash Bros, so i thought he's gonna be first but uh you know it, it was a great race for me 
it, although uh, in times it was a uh, it was a bit frustrating in certain levels uh yeah i can echo that um for myself it was bearmanator the second boss for many of us i think it was embolism um and what i find crazy because you mentioned about the like lizard entering as you were winning how you just failing one more challenge could have made that like sort of what 20 second gap maybe two seconds or something like it's really crazy how um how unsafe you are in racing this game uh something i learned from the race anyway yeah it uh the fails can really add up quick and uh, one fail can sometimes be one one uh, longer fail can sometimes determine it you know yeah absolutely so did you guys want to um talk a bit about sort of what your strategy was going into the race um because i noticed for example with you cola like you didn't necessarily play the levels in order from left to right like some of us um and i think it was the same for you as well dark lizard so do you think there's maybe something to doing them in a different order mm, for me it was more like returning to certain challenges i feel like because some challenges were uh, giving me hard time and for Cola Pro, I, I don't want to speak on his behalf, but I feel like it's speedrun is bad. Just uh, my route uh, that I used, because I used to run this game a little bit like one year ago or so, any percent. So I just used that strat and I just used that route. And uh, in that route, basically, we, I do this, this, this the, you know, the, polar, the panic levels first before the the ball levels. This is just how it is. Hey, I was gonna say, is that route based on something you saw from someone who ran this game before you, or was it like a route you devised yourself? Half and half, kind of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I took the original route that was made by someone and then I adjusted it to yeah. match my style, I guess. And you made it work for you, basically. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much, I guess, yeah. That's really cool. Because part of me wonders what the... Th there must be some benefit to doing the polar challenges first. Um, uh, I mean, in the first warp, yeah, because uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a common reset point in runs. Uh, if you have a very slow or if you fail in polar panic, then you just reset. Ah, oh, that makes uh, a lot of sense, actually. I think it also has to do with something when, when you get into the warp room, it's closer to go to the panic level, maybe. Yeah. I don't remember, actually. But that yeah. might be as well. Yeah. I suppose proximity to portal... Sorry, not my microphone. <laughs> proximity to portal can be quite important, actually. Um, something else I noticed as well um, from doing this is how when you do the ball challenges um, and the pogo challenges, you're kind of more rigid and restricted to a specific time frame. Whereas I guess in things like Crate Crush, Tanks, um, Polar Panic, time can be more variable because a round ends when you defeat everyone. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it, it, it gives you a chance to so to just clutch your head, you know, uh, if you're good enough, that, that is, you know, it can give you advantage. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So in terms of like, oh, sorry, were you going to say something, Dark Lizard? No, 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 I agree with the uh, Yeah, I was going to say, like, in terms of doing these kinds of runs, do you ever get that one level or that one challenge where you're like, ugh, not this thing again? For me, at least. I, I got this every time when I play any percent. Nice. Basically, before the race, I was, you know, kind of uh, forming my route, but 
didn't plan ahead. I was like, should, do I want to do this level? Or do I want to do that level? Like, I don't feel like doing certain... It, it's like, depends on the time, like, or depends on the mood, what level I want to do. Like, so, yeah. so badly. You know, I'd imagine... Go on, sorry. Uh, you, you know, like, you, you might have this as well, or... I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. Like, I think for me as well, part of it really depends on what kind of character you're playing as. Because something I've noticed is, like, you know, you have your Tinies and Kongs who are tanks, but then you have, like, you know, Crash and Coco, um, are really good at like the polar challenges because they have like two pushes. Uh, Rillaru and Dingo Dial are slightly quicker in the pogo challenges, and then you have like Cortex and Brio in the tank challenges who have the more powerful weapons and then they travel faster as well. Although that can also be a hindrance, as I as I discovered doing some of them. Um, I, I, feel like, I feel like I don't even see those differences anymore when I play more and more of this game. I feel like, for example, yeah, Dingo is a little bit, a little bit weaker in the in the tank levels, but at least he got two shots, and same goes for like the Bandicoot. They have slower and weaker attack but it lasts long which means yeah. more chance to strike it is interesting because i think every character has their strength but it's almost like there is a trade-off to each one of them yep that's right i think it's in the eye of the beholder like uh it's about if you're comfortable with a certain character, you're gonna play better with that character. Uh, like, Laser is uh, one of the best thing players, you know, and he can match any other player that plays with Ink or whoever, whichever other character. Absolutely. And I've seen him do well with Dingo, for example, in the Collisions tournament that's been going on as well. Um, you know, he did very well against me as Rillaroo in the uh, Wampa Crash Championship race that we did. Yeah, I feel like this was... Because I feel like the Dingo Dial is one of the most underrated characters in Great Crash levels. Like, we are doing this especially in the tournament, right? Yeah. And I don't know, I just feel like playing my favorite character and I just got build it up somehow. I would say I... you're pretty good with uh, spinning spinning in the boxes in crash levels. Mm, I guess, yeah, it's like my gameplay, my, my style of playing, but I would more like mention you especially You'd, ne you'd barely play as Rilaru and he still beat on me, or let's say Bubbleding almost like beat on me in the Collision tournament in the WCC3. When it was I think using the Rilaru as well? Not sure. Yeah, because that was um, because like you did very well, or you got the crate crush challenges quite quickly. But then the pogo challenges proved a bit more tricky. Um, so, I mean, I that think that you go on, sorry. I was gonna say, you know, I didn't even think about this, but yeah, like, Lizard technically didn't have any disadvantage because uh, his main character is Dingle. Well, I usually play with Tiny, <laughs> so I get <laughs> real, real, real. Yeah. I mean, it does go back to my earlier point, though, about how really in this game, like, you're never sort of safe from failure in a weird kind of way. Like, you could be miles and miles and miles ahead and then come across that one, you know, trophy or crystal or gem or relic if they're part of the goal that just really trips you up and you 
spend like 10 tries trying to get. Um, yeah, it's just the way of the beast, really. But I think that's also what makes races like this so special, as you don't necessarily know at the start, or really a long way through the match, like who's going to win it. So. Yeah, mm, that's true. Also, I found that if you if do a little mistake, then it's gonna bother you more and more and it's gonna probably stack up on the other mistakes and that's how can how how you can basically uh, fail the fail some certain challenges like trophies or something like that and potentially lose the race it, it is the mental anguish and fatigue you experience right um, something like that, I guess. Yeah, but make sure yeah. I would more like say, you have that kind of feeling of messing up and yeah, no, how to sum it up basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you look at my screen just there, like that's the trophy challenge I'm doing on Drain Bash. And I've not won a single round yet. Dingo Dar's won a round, Coco's won a round. And I found, like, for my own experience, the further I went through the race, um, the more mistakes I was making. Yeah. That's probably part of the fatigue. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Nice. Well, we're nearly out of time, but did you guys yeah, want to give some closing remarks before we head back to the original commentary? I mean, like, all good. I mean, for some pieces, it's okay, I guess. People should play more Crash Bash. <laughs> <laughs> Based. I just turn off the cars that run. I agree with this. Thank you. Well, thank you very much both for your time. Um, Cola Pro and Dark Lizard, very well done for claiming spots on the podium. We look forward to seeing you in future Square to Charge races. Yes. Thanks for having us. I I I do, I do have a tendency to do that as well, though. My god, I'm really struggling with this crystal. What crystal are you doing like this again? Uh, the Dream Bash one. Ah. Uh.